Like all digital SLRs, there are dozens of settings on the Nikon D90 that can only be changed by accessing the menus. Fortunately, the camera has a simple menu system that is very easy to understand. The menus have been divided into six main sections. The playback menus control how you view images on the monitor, transfer images to a computer, or print directly to a printer. The shooting menus directly control the settings that determine the look, style, size, and quality of the pictures you take. The custom setting menus are used to change how the camera functions while you're shooting. You can customize things like the autofocus system, the metering and exposure controls, and many other settings to make them work however you like. The setup menus control things like the date and time, cleaning the image sensor, and formatting the memory card. The retouch menus allow you to make a variety of in-camera adjustments and enhancements to images after they have been shot. If you don't want to use a computer to edit your images, this is the next best thing. And you don't have to worry about damaging the original image because the camera automatically saves the retouch version as a new file. Whenever you have a picture stored on the memory card that is a retouched copy of an original image, this icon is superimposed to remind you. The final menu page is called Recent Settings. Here you'll find a list of the last 20 menus that you've changed on the camera, sorted in the order that you most recently accessed them. In other words, whenever you make a change to any menu setting, its name is automatically added to the top of the Recent Settings list. These shortcuts are a handy way of getting quick access to your most frequently used menus without having to dig down through layers and layers of menus. You can think of the recent settings list as being like shortcuts on your computer desktop. For more great digital photography tips, be sure to check out www.larkbooks.com digital. Thank you for watching and have fun shooting.